So we're starting a whole new volume. We're jumping from um, OpenStax, uh, the first volume to uh, the second volume. And uh, the first chapter is temperature and heat. So <laughs> we need to talk a little bit about uh, thermal physics and basically what these different items are. So for instance, temperature and heat are oftentimes used interchangeably. They actually mean two different things. Temperature is the average kinetic energy of the molecules. It's the average random kinetic energy that the molecules have. And as we raise the temperature of something, the average kinetic energy increases. If we have a gas, the temperature of a gas represents how quickly the molecules are moving. If we have a liquid or a solid, it's more or less how the molecules are moving uh, or vibrating in place. Heat, however, is the thermal energy transferred from one object to another. So temperature, the temperature of different objects will uh, change the properties of the object as the temperature goes up or down. And this means that as we add heat to something, we may be able to observe those changes. So thermal physics is basically the um, science where we study how the exchange of heat and how the change in temperature affects different physical properties that an object may have. So um, again, we need to come up with a uh, definition for temperature. Um, we need to talk about how heat leads to a change in what is known as internal energy and how this internal energy change can also affect temperature. Uh, gases are where we focus most of our energy for the next few chapters. Uh, gases are relatively simple and uh, gases approximate ideal gases where we can talk about the physical properties in terms of the ideal gas law. So ideal gases are critical for knowing how to um, harness the internal energy of a system, how we can turn that internal energy into work. Okay, let's start out with temperature. Again, temperature is a measurement of random microscopic kinetic energy. If we were to look at the molecules moving about in the room right now, we'd see some are moving very quickly, some are moving slowly, but on average, the average velocity is very much connected to the average kinetic energy, one half mv squared, a little average bar over there to indicate the average. Um, actually, it should be over the entire thing. But in any case, um, as the molecules move faster, that corresponds to a greater temperature, All right? Now heat again is a process by which energy is exchanged from one object to another. And this can cause either a phase change or a change in temperature. If we're not undergoing a phase change, the introduction of heat will raise the internal uh, energy of a system, increasing um, potential energy, increasing kinetic energy, causing the energy to rise. Now, objects that are in thermal contact can exchange energy with one another. And basically, objects will tend to go to thermal equilibrium, which corresponds to the same temperature, okay, as energy flows from one system to another, or one object to another. Now, the zeroth law of thermodynamics says that heat tends to flow from objects with more energy to objects with less energy, and that makes sense. If molecules have more energy in one uh, object, object A, than they do in another object, object B, collisions between the objects from A and B, they're in thermal contact with one another, are going to tend to equalize the energy between the two objects, and the average kinetic energy will slowly equalize as both come to thermal equilibrium at the same temperature, okay? Um, 
actually the zeroth law of thermodynamics is related to that, but basically it says that if objects A and B are separated separately in thermal equilibrium, then with a third object C, then object A and B are in thermal equilibrium with one another, okay? Um, so it allows us to really determine what the temperature of an object is because we can use some object C whose thermal properties are well understood and use that as a, a thermometer if we have that in thermal equilibrium with A and then we find out that it's also in thermal equilibrium with B has the same physical properties, that thermometer tells us that both are the same temperature. So temperature is the property that determines whether or not an object is in thermal equilibrium. If they have the same temperature, they're in thermal equilibrium. If the two objects have a different temperature, then heat will naturally flow from the hotter object to a colder, the colder object. 